Hey everyone, Miranda Patron here. Back to do another mandala with you. I have a nice painted stone here today where I've already painted the front black. But I have kind of a fun color palette picked out with peaches and metallics and bright yellows. So we're going to see what we can create with that today um, on this stone. The stone that I'm using is about three and a quarter inches by three inches. Just because I've been forgetting to let you all know the size of the piece that I'm working on. So this one is three and three quarters and by three inches. Alright, so I have not started off with a white center in a long time, so I think that is what I'm going to start with today, is a white center. And I'm going to be using my brushes today, so I have a few here, of the Angle Spot Detailer from Princeton, and then I have some new liner brushes with wood handles from US Art Supply. And the size on the muse is 18-0. And the angle spot detailer is 10-0. So, alright. So, to find our center of our stone, as usual, we go back to our measurements. I think I said this one was three. I said three and three quarters, but maybe we'll go with three and a half since it really kind of angles off here at the end. But we'll do three and a half. Okay, so about half of 3.5 is about, what, 1.6? So 1.5 would be here, and 1.75 is here. So we'll just kind of put a line in there. And then in between here we have 3 inches. Oh, I did that wrong, sorry. So yeah. No, I did it right. There we go. So we have a line here at our 1.6. And then the 3, half of 3 is 1.5. So it would be about here for our center. So I have my stone marked there. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to use the white. And I'm just going to put a center dot right there. And I'm going to keep it kind of smaller because I want the center to be decently small sized on this one. Lately I've been doing larger centers and it just changes the design up a little bit. Okay, so I'm actually going to steal from my center dot because it's still wet. And instead of doing, I think, eight dots, probably we'll just do six for the smaller design. So usually you do your plus sign, and then you fill in between, but we're going to do top and bottom, and then our 45 degree angles instead. So that we only have six. So it's going to change the design up a little bit, which will be fun. Alright, so I have not been able to mix this color with my deco art paints, so I've been using Apple Barrel. It's just got some pizzazz. It's a honeysuckle pink, and it's just nice and bright, and I'm obsessed with it, so <laughs> that is what I'm going to use for my next round of dots. If you've seen my other videos, especially the one on which paints to use and not to use and why, um, a lot of the apple barrel ones I have found a little more difficult to work with, especially if you are just starting out dotting. They tend to be a little thicker, some of them are tacky, and they stick to themselves and they'll leave lines that fall over and it just kind of makes a mess sometimes. So if you're just starting out, just be leery of that if you do get these, they're a little thicker um, and you're going to have to kind of work with it, learn how to work with it. It just takes some time. I'm tripping over my words today, maybe I need another cup of coffee. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to make that 
a decent size because I kind of want them to look pretty close together, almost like a flower starting out. So you can see what I mean, how bright and this just has pizzazz. It's the only word I can think of to to say for it. It's nice, bright, shiny, hot pink, the honeysuckle. And maybe I'm just not that great at mixing. Maybe there is a way to get the deco art colors to that point, but I am not an expert paint mixer, so <laughs> I tend to try to buy what I need. All right, next I'm going to do two little dots, I think, in between with this bright salmon. I'm going to use my liner brush and just do two in between each space. Let's do, I don't know, a couple of, let's do a couple of larger of these orange. Well, this one is bright coral, I guess. Sure, why not? I'll just continue on with my two theme here. We'll see how it comes out. And I'm just using one of the liner brushes again from US Art Supply. These ones are synthetic sable. I'm not sure if a real sable works on acrylics. I don't know that much about paintbrushes. I am still learning myself as well. But that's kind of the beauty of the journey in learning something too is it'd be no fun if you knew everything all at once right away, right? Okay. Let's do a couple little yellow dots in between here of the daffodil yellow. Maybe we'll paint a diamond here. Sure, why not? Just a little diamond shape. These colors look pretty nice on the black stone. Yeah. 
This is one of my favorite metallics by Deco Art, the Rich Rich Espresso. And I think I'm going to do a nice big chunky dot above the orange dots that we started out here for a base. apologize for the extra background noise, but I also have everybody home today now that school is out. So we have the lively, busy home. <laughs> Somebody's out weed whacking and trimming and the kids are enjoying themselves in the other room, so we just have a, a busy house going on. Oh, this is so rich. I love it. I think it goes really well with these colors, too. Let's go with some nice white little dots, a couple rings of little dots around our metallic to kind of help it stand out a little here. Yeah, are you bringing me presents? <laughs> Thank you, Giuseppe. Did you say hi? So I'm just using the um, angle detailer here to tuck in some white dots all the way around. It's okay, we have a background, so we'll just wipe that off and put a little bit of black on it. All that's drying, we'll just do another ring around our big dots with the white.
I'm not really pushing down very hard, just just in the beginning to get the larger dots. And then as you work your way around, they'll get smaller because less paint is on the brush and you just pick up your brush weight a little bit so you're not pushing down quite as hard. There. Look at all that rich espresso really shines. Super excited. This is another great metallic by Decoart. Are there two coppers? They have the worn penny, which is this one, and copper, which I absolutely love. So we're gonna toss a little of that on this piece as well. here. My spacing was a little off on this one so I'm just going out a little bit farther because I think some of the circles that we did and then the white dots are a little closer than others so I just want to make sure I can fit one of these on each I actually do have a little bit of space below each of these, so I'm just going to steal some from there and do one little dot below. Just kind of sneaking one in there. Let's go with a dot above, too. here to see if I like it. I'm just gonna do a nice thin kind of like triangle shape above the copper dots that we're doing. Let's go for it and see how it looks all the way around. <laughs> Why not, right? So this isn't like a a swipe or a swoop or a whatever dot drag. I just wanted to keep it kind of the same size until the bottom. So I'm just going to keep the same even pressure on the brush.
I'm just taking my time because I don't want to run it into the design in case I don't like it then we'll keep it like this so that I can just paint it over black in case so don't let it hit any of your design if you just want to try stuff out because I'm pretty visual I kind of need to see what it looks like all done and you could also etch it on since you have the black background, you could use an etching tool or something and just kind of etch it on here. same idea though with this, the swoops or the dot drags. I've had a lot of people say that they don't think that they're able to do it, but if you just go slow and take your time, I know that when you say swipe or dot drag it sounds quick, <clears throat> pardon me, but if you just take your time and work your way around, then you'll be able to get the hang of it. I'm going to let this sink in for a little bit to see if I want to keep it as a design of my stone. One thing I find helpful, I know I've said this before, but I know everybody doesn't get to see every YouTube <clears throat> video that I make, so I find it really helpful when you're up close and personal working on something to walk away even just for like 5-10 minutes, just walk away from it, get the image out of your mind, and then come back to it, because a lot of times you're like, oh, that one's shorter, that one's fatter, that one, you know, does the spacing's off, or whatever, because you're up close, and it's in your face, and you're, we're all hypercritical of ourselves, <laughs> so... If you just walk away and come back to it like it's a totally new piece or you're seeing it for the first time, you'd be surprised how amazing the difference is. You're like, oh, that's actually really pretty. <laughs> You'll see. So sometimes I have to do that and just walk away and come back to it. But I think I am going to keep the pink lines. And I'm going to go with this cranberry. I know this and the honeysuckle, I've said I just have trouble and I haven't been able to mix that colors, those colors. So, I am going to use them from the Apple Barrel line. I should probably apologize to Apple Barrel because I'm not... Their paint is not bad. It's just difficult usually for doing dots. It's just a little harder to work with. So, the consistency and stuff. But I do like the colors. A lot of the colors they have are fantastic. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go with the cranberry. And I'm going to go around the triangles that we just made. Let's do some dots around them. And sometimes too, like, at first I wasn't sure about these triangle lines, but you could always throw a line of dots around them to kind of bring it into the pattern, and that's helpful too, because you can see already, like, maybe on their own the triangles aren't I don't know, maybe they aren't the most beautiful addition to it, but when you add it into the whole piece, then I think it, it, it works well together. You have to forgive me, this, this cup of coffee is not doing its job today. Tripping over my words still, but I'm sure you get the idea of what I'm trying to say. So give, give your design a chance, is basically what it boils down to, is just give yourself a chance to create something and then enjoy it and if not enjoy the journey because you might learn something from it that you can put and incorporate into another piece and on some of the other videos I've explained how that's actually I shouldn't say things are a mistake because it's actually how I've created some of the designs I've kind of just stumbled upon them <laughs> By the blessing of an uh, unintended dot combination, or two dots blended together, or something happened that I just did not mean to have happen, <laughs> and I ended up just having 
to incorporate it into the design, which has come out pretty good, actually. I've been really pleased. So, give yourself a chance. Don't say you can't do it. Keep practicing. You can. It's just years of practice and trial and error and trying different things. And you just get to a point, too, where it becomes muscle memory. I've been painting for a very long time. And the dots, too. I mean, you just get used to doing it in a pattern and, you know, going from large to small or around other dots. You'll, you'll get the hang of it. It just takes some practice time and it, it's like working out any other muscle. You know, you just have to work it out to get it to the point where it remembers to do the thing you want it to do. Yep, I'm glad I kept those lines. It looks cute. I think I'm going to go back to the espresso then. And we'll carry that out to our little triangle section here. Alright, so I'm getting kind of close to the edge of my stone here, so I'm going to try to think of a way to finish it off here. I think I'm going to carry the yellow on out. <clears throat> and this one's just a shade lighter, the Luscious Lemon is just a shade lighter than the Daffodil yellow that we used earlier. I'm thinking maybe, maybe I'll do some swipes or dot drags here. I'm just starting at the top and pushing down a little harder and then as you come down and around you're going to lift up with your paintbrush. So push down a little harder at the top and then come down and around. I didn't have quite enough paint on that one but you can kind of fix up the shape a little bit. Another thing you can do too, which I've said in the past, is because you have a background, if you're not super psyched with how it came out or if it's completely off size-wise from the other ones, then you can always take your black and go over it completely and redo it. Or you can just kind of touch up the spots on it that you want thinner or thicker.
So I'm pushing down harder here. And letting up at the end. So as you come around, just let it up with your brush. I don't have quite enough paint on there. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter still and go to the Americana buttermilk color. Just a little bit lighter. I think I'm gonna kind of overshadow, overlap the drags here. Just by starting above the one that we already made. And coming down and around. It just gives it kind of a different look. Like I said, I know the swipe makes it sound like you're doing it fast, but to really get your technique down, just take your time, push down at the top, and then gently just drag it down to the bottom, slowly, <laughs> not necessarily just gently, just slowly. can think about it as like flower petals or we kind of have a star idea going here. I'm just going to debate whether or not I want to bulk it up a little more or keep the black negative space. I think I'm going to bring some more of the copper, that worn penny color, over and do it in between each of these like that. Can you tell I'm obsessed with the metals, the metallics? <laughs> They're also a little bit thicker, so they dry a little faster, kind of like um, pudding. It gets that skin on the top of it so that it's not going to bleed into your other um, dots next to it. You can use it a little quicker. Not that I'm impatient, I'm just commenting. <laughs> I think I'm just going to use my white just to give it a little more thickness. I'll put one more swipe in there. See how it looks. My dishwasher is apparently having some technical difficulties, so I apologize if you can hear that on the video.
I've had a lot of people ask me when I do the quick videos, the time lapse on Instagram, what I'm using for a tool. And I know you know they're already paintbrushes, but I think I'm just a little crazy with loading the paint on. I add way too much or overload it. And so a lot of people think that it's <clears throat> a paint pen that you load. Which kind of would be handy. They probably make something like that where you can fill a paint pen. But I think about that as I'm adding the paint on that looks a little crazy, a little overloaded. I see this one got a little chunk of something in it. So I probably. I'm going to put a little black over the end and redo that to try to reshape it. Or I might grab my tweezers to get it out of there. Let's see if I can just get it up with a paintbrush here. Alright, so I just had a little mishap. My camera fell on the piece I was working on. So I'm going to see if I can touch it up and get back on track. But <coughs> that's going to take a minute or so here and I'll be back. I guess I'll just use this as a teaching opportunity. So I'm painting black over the sections that got messed up because we have our really nice background, so that's helpful. And then I'm gonna let those dry and redo the design over it. All right, so the black that I put on my little uh, mess <laughs> is dry now. So I'm just gonna touch up the um, parts that got destroyed in that little fiasco here. So this was buttermilk. So I'm just gonna touch that up a little bit. And then I had a copper dot there. I got all the spots that I had <coughs> smushed. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so I feel like now that I'm looking at it, these darker oranges just seem like they're too dark and out of place a little bit just for me. But what I'm going to do with that is just add some highlighting top dots to them. So that was like a dark, bright coral. And I'm going to go with a peach or a lighter one. Which one is this? <clears throat> Soft coral. And just add some dots on the top of it. And that'll kind of alleviate. It just seems like so stark dark orange. That helps brighten it up a little. And I think since I'm going with that soft coral that's a little lighter, I might carry it out here to the end and just do like three little dots maybe. Just to, oops, sorry. Give this a little more character to the finish. And sometimes I feel like I just want to keep going, but <clears throat> it's good that a stone is only a, is a 
finite size because it makes me stop. <laughs> well, you also don't want to overwork a piece, but with the mandalas, it's kind of cool because there's not a ton of danger of doing that, especially if you're carrying out the same colors throughout your piece. Alright, so I think we're done with this guy. I'm just going to wait my 24 hours to let him dry and varnish it with my Liquitex sealer that I use. I hope you enjoyed this video, mistakes and all. <laughs> Not mistakes, just different direction, right? I am looking forward to doing more videos with you, so please if you liked this, feel free to give it a thumbs up and share it with others. And then also, I always welcome feedback and comments, so please definitely leave some below and let me know what you thought. Do you like the realistic, oh I made a mistake, here's what I do. Do you not like it? Do you want to just see it flow all the way through? Have to learn how to edit and cut out parts, but... Or just not put the video up. <laughs> but what do you like? What do you not like? Let me know. Constructive feedback. I'm open to it, and I look forward to communicating with you in the comments. And uh, if you're looking for my other videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I have a ton on there and a variety of things on, from what paints to use for dots to how I bend my own paintbrushes and tools to hearts and other mandalas. So <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this one and I will look forward to doing another video soon. Have a wonderful day. Happy painting.